ladies and gentlemen. We're back with Punch Club. I am the Marmoset. We are going to cheat and buy some more drugs. This is probably just going to keep causing us more problems in the long term, but yes, let's spend $80 to get our thing up to an 18. We're in a good position where we can go and do the fight, so we are going to go and do the fight. We've got full health, so that's pretty good. We'd like some more skill points and other things, but let's go and take a fight with Keen. So, I'm just going to randomly try something here. He's all about the damage and the turtle and the rest of the energy damage. The last fight we had, he knocked us on our ass quite a bit, um, because we ran out of energy quite badly. So I'm going to try something a little bit weird. Dodge, dodge, energizer. That's one of those we picked up. Active, chance yeah, we'll play with that one later. Skip attack, uh, counter attack, skip attack. And so this one is... And regeneration. This one is high dodge, lots of counter attacks. I'm going to try this. We are not going to put any. Let's uh, put uh, armor penetration on. Any counter attack, any attacks on at all. So as you can see, how much damage we can do to him, just on the fact that he's going to be doing damage to himself by us counter attacking for a bit. And that worked. We knocked. 90 points of damage off, and only took 20. So let's just keep letting him burn his energy down. Whereas we will keep our energy absurdly high to make sure we've always got energy to keep dodging. Now it didn't go quite as well in our favour, so I'm just going to carry on for a bit. Act again. Interesting fight technique. What are you doing? Well, we're just going to stand there. Whatever you do, Punch Shard, don't actually try and attack him. Just let him hurt himself. A lot, apparently. Yep, yeah, that didn't work. Oh well, it was an idea. <laughs> we lost. Alright, well that was an idea. The other thing I've been looking at is, it suddenly reminded me and occurred to me, there's a dude over here who apparently talks about being able to help with healing. Drunk Master. We've got a lot of cash. Can you help me? Old spells uh, need vodka. Yes. Now we're at full health. Nice. So, seem to remember, we are slightly short on fame. So we need to do something to improve our fame. Day is going to tick over much to my annoyance, so we're going to lose some stats. But... We just need 100 points of fame, which can be easily got by kicking the shit out of some pirates. Um, not going to go quite the same rig as we did last time, but let's drop crossroads and bring in our standardized kick. And let's get this guy in his ass as soon as we can. Let me take some damage, we'll just go and see the guy, we'll pay the money, he'll heal us straight back up again. And we're just going to smash our head against Keen's fists repeatedly for a bit. Hey, it's a win. Happy days. Continue. Fightings. We're winning. Yes, we're winning. I want to see more of the violence. Continue with the violence. Come on, knock him down. Hurry up already. There we go, on a counter attack. One final point. Uh, I need that one, so continue. You do uh, quite a bit of counter attack damage on the way of your thing. An exhauster strike modifier. Or you do uh, energy damage as well, that's a nice one. So you are unfortunately out of energy, my piratey headed friend. I have no idea what you're wearing. I thought it was like a strange cap hat, but it's just it's a bandana like thing, it's just hanging down the side, isn't it? Down you go. Nice. Next up, we've got this guy who is an agility build. Alright, well, let's just see how far we can get. Stamina beats, skip attack, yeah, we've got a dodge. We have 43 combo going on our favour. 
just hit him, would you? It's one good strike. There we go. Exactly as I said, one good strike. We'll take our prize. Good, so we should now have enough for that fight. So we will go back to the bloke with the vodka. Right foot. Drunken master. Injury. Help. Sure. Vodka. Spells. Done. In which case, pick fight. And we'll run with this and see here we go. Going our favourite. Slow it down so we can see a bit more of the action. He's out of energy. And we're just beating him at 45. We carry on with this as we've got. Keep the energy tempo up. Ow. That hurts. That hurts a lot. I'm querying the possible advantage of maybe running with mimic techniques for a bit. We get his energy. Knock him down. Knock him down. Knock him down. That's the problem when you go with skip attack. Is you just get the extra little moment where they get the chance to pick themselves back up. We've got a energy advantage, but no for well this guy can really hit us. Still getting a little bit nice at 45 points of damage. Nice. A little bit of counter attack damage every now and then. Down he goes. That was worth persevering with. Nicely done. Look at that huge chunk of cash. We've got nothing to spend it on other than meat. And there's a limit to how much we can fit in our fridge. With that in mind, let's go have a quick chat with Silver. Hello, Silver. I'd like a sparring fight with you if you wouldn't mind. Well, oh, we're still high on drugs. 57 combo there to Silver's face. I'm going to beat you in one round. Yes, we are. Beat you in before half a round. It's the extra skill points we want. So, we are on the way of the turtle. And we are heading for Meat Runner 2. So, we'll lock in our stamina. Add an 8, meaning we don't need to worry about working on it at all. Nice. Shining Knight's probably the one I'm interested in. Look at heavy workout. Less edge while working out. Kind of useful. Good sneakers. Kind of interesting. Um, but we're not training this one. It's capped at 9 at several check. Where the tiger? Slave to the wind, I believe, is the thing we've got. Yeah, so we can't get stamina or strength higher than a 9. So there's no point in trying to get that any higher. Flip kick. 9, 1, 1, 5, 5. 11, 1, 8, 6. So it does less damage, but more accurate. I think I might have a look at getting flip kick later. But in the interim, we are now in a position where we can have a look at whether or not we want to take on Kulk Kogan who literally just has punch and block, apparently. I suspect that will change when we actually get a bit more information on our first fight with him. But, we've still got two days worth of this, so we really should see what we can do by getting our fame high enough. So we can just push on and get this fight. Take that fight. Um, I think we probably should be able to just... Let's, uh... Alright, 375, so let's push that one. Yeah, the day takes over. So we're just going to dump our way into our fame. This is mostly just costing us energy and a little bit of food, which isn't too bad. It's sustainable. We are going to probably have to rest. Okay, let's burn up the rest of our food sleeping. Still got a day on that. Those aren't going down. We might even get full health thanks to our sleepings. So it will be after we've eaten. So that's a decent amount of energy. Food should fill back up once we put ourselves up with these things. We don't have any. <laughs> to the grocery store. By bus. I know it's fine, I'm beating them up in a professional league. Fridge is now full of stuff. Back to the mansion. Ah, uh, I didn't spend the. I uh, should have taken the bus. Walk faster, would you? One, two, three. That should be full of food. Or at least enough that I care about. Got a decent amount of energy. That should be enough. Quickly when we get the extra tick for the day. To make us famous enough to take on the Kulk Kogan. Kulk, 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 Kulk. Let's fight for Kulk. Yes, we may fight the Kulk. Fight the Kulk. Alright, you are a strength-based character. Powerful uppercut. Karate kick. Berserker. Does more damage. 
That's a, that's a, all right, let's use an energy guy. All right, so I'm going to stick with this rig. You are a blocker, so having a, the boost block chance proves me. You've got a fair bit of stamina, so I do want the penetration. I do want to conserve my energy. I do want to counter attack, and I do want to dodge. 4, 18, 8, versus 15, 10, 13. He is Colt Kogan with his shorts. We are punch charred. Fight. Okay, so he missed a few times, and then hit us with a 37. Alright, Energy War is going in my favour just. The rain break's going to end, I don't think we're going to get knocked down. Ooh, so he hits. He hits hard. However, every time he misses, huge counterattack thing going on. Are we going to get him down? Are we going to be the one who falls down? Or are we... There! Whoa! It's a win! Colt Kogan is down! Huge big wad of cash. You are now the official world champion. Haha, <laughs> success. We've got to celebrate. All for one real purpose. Now I need to visit old Mick. I need to wait for the invitation. World champion, you are now the world champion. I'm prepared to fight the man in black, the man who killed our father. Mm. Proving yourself a great warrior. Final challenge. It's an invitation! Mmm. Which we accept. Apparently we've got a jacket. Don't know where we got that from. We are sailing far away! Old Chinese junk. Welcome to my island! You are the man in black. You've done it! One last step before you can face the man in black. There's our brother with us. Who is the best fighter? Me! Because I'm on drugs. That's Sub-Zero. No, it's you. Alright. Prove you wrong. Fight begin! So now we're fighting our brother. Do you know what happens if you lose when you're out here? We have to wait back and come back later. So this is a build that served us very well in our previous fights. You're another strength type, which we just did a fair bit of damage to. I'm happy with that. I might switch to Mimic Attack. How much brute damage is he doing? 16. Ooh, Boxing Jab series. 32 points of damage. Ooh, that sting. Let's try not to get hit by that. Yeah, 34 points of damage. Yeah, you can try and... A lot of the time when you miss, you get sick, hit, tagged by my counter-attack. I think the DPS is slightly in my favour, he starts off with a lot more. 25 combo thanks to a counter-attack. You can whiff and miss all you want. Yep, another good hit. Let's keep this up. I'm sorry brother, I know your face is badly burnt and all that, but... I must be the one, I must prove myself, I must beat the man in black who killed our father. Love the arena, the banners and everything. I must be the man in black, and down you go! I am sorry, brother. I am deeply, deeply sorry, but I had to win! Exactly as I imagined. A true champion! Best of brothers, you've proven you're a better fighter than your brother. Or, oh, I'm sorry, but I kicked you in the burns. Does not matter. Kill the father! Revenge time now! Hmm, first let me tell you a story! Two little brothers, their father loved them very much. So we gave them two parts of a mighty medallion. Two parts of the medallion started to work differently. One of them became corrupted, but nobody noticed it. At first, the two brothers were equally powerful. Time passed, and one brother was becoming much stronger. He started to lose all kindness in his heart. The same night he lost... That same night he lost the last bit of his humanity. He killed his brother, and took the other part of the medallion. He had the entire city to his feet, and he destroyed it. I don't recognize this story. His father and his father friends stood together to stop him. After a furious fight, they won. But he lost everything, his sons, his friends, and his city. He only had the medallion. He decided to destroy it in order to fix everything. I know that you'll never listen to me. Death is the only choice. 
Time travel? I am your father! Okay. <laughs> okay. During seven days spent. So that's the last of it, apparently. <laughs> okay. Fair enough, then. Didn't get a chance to see what happened with the end of the uh, French words. So, to be continued. Alright, I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of sequel. So our last fight was against our brother, who we were able to beat in the end. But it's still the Dark Fist content I haven't fully explored, so... 278 days, I suspect it's not a particularly fast time. Play. Punch shard. Okay. Alright, looks like it's gone a little bit squirrely here. So, and there ends our play. Alright, so I'm just gonna um, stop the recording here and see if I can get this kind of little bit fixed a little bit, and I'll see you back in a sec. Bye for now. Alright, so we're back here. Um, I was able to, I had to crash the game and bring it back. Um, bar, I don't quite know. We're apparently a real danger machine, an absolute killing machine. We, um, on the city map. And when I came back, it dropped me here. There doesn't appear to be an immediate way where I can actually get to um, wherever it is we need to go. Mick. Share your wisdom with me. Yeah. So, after that damning revelation, we apparently have been able to get back here. We will be able to play around with the uh, content for the Dark Fist. What we need to do with the Dark Fist is fight robots. And we only really fight robots if we can get much further than that. So we can't do any more with Don King stuff. Fight League. Okay, no, not that way. Uh, city map. Yes, I will fight this robot. This robot will know pain. It doesn't look like we can actually get back to um, the island at all, so... That's uh, so, uh, sort of that. Uh, so I have to wait for Punch Club 2 before we find out what happens there. But as it is, we can still finish our way off and become the Dark Fist. Looks like we have to be careful with uh, how we spend our money from now on. Because while we do have a lot of it, having finished working for Don King now, we don't have the ability to make any more of it. Very easily without actually getting a proper job, you know? Continue. So I am interested to know is whether or not when we, the day ticks over, when we still get our endorsement money. Or whether we've lost that as well. Came down, there's the energy gone. Keep fighting this little robot, Cyberman, I believe. A bit of a beating we just took. Yes, so we'll continue. We've lost the ability to get to the uh, films as well, so I place we're going to get some extra skill points. Make sure you don't die, I suppose. Ooh. Laying a smack down on you. It's a one hit kill for the other round. There we go. Continue with the fight. Let's face off against the Cylon. You're a dodge based character. Problems with your type previously. Let's just keep kicking him, shall we? GPS, I think, is in our favour at the moment. A few good hits like that, very much is. Down he goes. Not enough health to continue. Simply not enough health to continue. So we will be taking our skill points and our prize. I clicked the wrong button. We're fighting C3PO. Whoops! <laughs> I'm a dodge based character. What's it with these dodgy robots? Shame there isn't a way of getting a health regeneration um, perk. That'd be very nice. Problem is we are only a couple good hits away from being in a lot of trouble. Ooh, that was a close win. Definitely. Take the prize. Absolutely. Take the prize. Did we get a part, Mick? What a part the armor is in our hands. Alright, I don't know how many parts the armor actually has, but that is something we will find out next time. Travel by foot. Ah, uh, no. What we were going to do is just have a rest. Sleep, Punch Jard. Sleep. Sleep and know that it turns out that your 
father was actually the man in black with the red eye, and that he was some kind of corrupted and twisted evilness. Strange times we live in, Punchard. Strange times. This is apparently not going down as quickly as I thought it would. That's a very interesting to note. But anyway, we're fully rested. And so, the next time, we'll leave Punchard watching television. I have been the Marmoset. He has been Punchard. This has been Punch Club. Thank you very much for watching. And please remember to like, comment, and or subscribe. Bye for now.